Hello and welcome once again to the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Ooh. Hello? Yeah, Ryan. Change your PC volume settings while you're in the middle of playing a game. That's a smart idea. Whatever. So good. I'm a three fairies. I got my six. Six hearts. Um. After I finished the last recording, I went into this little hut. It has a bow and arrow game. It is brutally difficult. Um, the score you're aiming for at first is 1700. Uh, I played it six times and made it to 1700 exactly once. And then they want you to do an even better job and hit 2,000, which I don't believe is possible. Um, I received a large quiver for my efforts, and I will probably never receive the heart container that is the 2,000 point prize. That is what I accomplished. Okay, anyway, what are we doing here, Grandpa? Or what are you doing here, Grandpa? I came here to tell you something very important. Ooh, something important. Yes, young one. Now listen well to what I have to say. Ciela, you are no ordinary fairy. Among fairies, you are special. You are a spirit. Spirit? What are you saying? I mean, I, I don't even have any special powers. There's no way. I understand how you feel. You lost your memory. The spirit you just freed holds the powers you lost. It's time for you to return to your original form. Please bring me the spirit, Ryan. Digs it out of his pocket. Now, I will begin. Doing the fairy mating dance. This is a mature video. Not for children. Oh, Ciela's yellow now. Weird. Ah, how do you feel? I don't feel any different. But at the same time, everything is different. I feel alive. You're back! I've been waiting for this moment! Now you can join powers with us! I don't even know what to do. This is all so sudden. Follow your feelings. Focus with the other spirits. Focus deeply. It's the thing I dislike about Nintendo games is that they never have a little text box. Well, not never, but they often don't have a little box above the text box to, to denote who is talking. It drives me nuts. I just heard her, Ryan. I heard a girl pleading for your help. So I don't know when it's Osha's talking or Ciela or Linebeck. She was calling out to you. That was Tetra. I know it was her. You've got to hurry. We have to go now. Ciala. That vision you just had. Your ability to sense evil is one of your spirit powers. You have awakened as the spirit of courage.
You might not feel all of your true power yet, but someday, no evil will be able to hide from you. Ryan! Come on, we'll show you the way to the ghost ship. I can feel it out there. Let's go! It also bothers me that the poof of the front of Link's hair is not its own thing. It's just plastered onto his head. Yes, yes, you should hurry, Ryan. Head straight for the ghost ship. Like, it sticks out on the side. Old man. Ooh. Who are you, really? That, I will explain when the time is right. For now, you must hurry to the ghost ship. Fine. Keep your secrets, you old sea pickle. I'm just in this for the loot anyway. minutes for the loot too, lineback, but <clears throat> that frickin' bow and arrow game is just impossible, man. And yeah, go ship in the fog. So how the bow and arrow game works is that you stand behind the counter on the bottom screen. Huh? I feel strange. I feel something creepy. An eerie tingle in my spine. Feel anything weird, Ryan? Stop right there! I finally found you, Lineback! Oh no, no, no! It's her, Jolene! She's crazy! She's crazier than a rabid squid, way back when Jolene and I were kids. Oh, forget it. No time for that story. Not when Jolene is gunning for our ship! Always run from Jolene. Set a course for anywhere far away from her. She'll shoot torpedoes at us. Make the ship leap over them before they hit. Okay. I don't know what's happening. The engine's gone dead. Just my dumb luck looks bad, kid. Here comes trouble. Ah, ambush. I was trying to explain it. Okay, bow and arrow game. You stand behind the counter on the bottom screen, and you have to shoot these targets that are moving on the top screen, and it's just impossible to aim accurately from the bottom screen to the top screen. And, I mean, not impossible, but it's very difficult. And, you know. Fiend, it's been a hundred years since our paths last crossed. Oh, what? You aren't Lineback. You, little boy in green, tell me the whereabouts of Lineback this instant. Ah, keeping it a secret, are we? Playing Jolene for a fool is an unwise choice. You truly don't want to tell? I see. Well then... You will be punished. Ah, run away! And maybe the bow and arrow game is easier when you have your screens aligned. <laughs> you know, the way they're intended to. Uh, I might have to try that at some point, but I think it's just way too hard, and I don't know that I care enough. For me, like, 100% on a Zelda game is basically just getting all the hearts, but sometimes it's not worth it. Hmm. Bested by a little boy in green? Lineback, hear my words. Your pet is most skilled. Before I leave, I have but one thing to say. You. You. Don't think you've won before because of this battle. Hear me? Do I get Jolene's sword now? New weapon? Where are you going, Ryan? All right. I guess I better... Ooh, crouching in one of those is every now and then is great for the back. Wow. Consider this a tip for getting rid of that crazy woman, Ryan. 
It's all yours. <laughs> hey, we're shipping out, Ryan. Let's put these waters behind us. Yeah, I got a rupee for killing the cyclone. I don't really know what it wants me to do, but this is what I'm going to do. Hull? What now? What's going on here? The ship is suddenly stuck. Oh, hey Ryan. Sorry for the unscheduled stop. Something happened down here and the engine just went nuts. I'm sure that evil ghost ship is the cause. Yep, no doubt about it. With that thing around, I guess I'd better get this engine into tip-top shape. Hey, kid, leave it to me. You've got other things to worry about. You take the helm and aim at the ghost ship. Honestly, how am I supposed to know? Use your head. I'll help you find the ghost ship, Ryan. The spirits of power and wisdom and I will join up and help find the ghost ship. Ugh, do you have to be so... enthusiastic all the time? This is a test of our resolve, Lineback. You're no help at all, are you? Exactly right. Guess it's up to you, then. You have to steer, Ryan. Okay. I think I get it. This is pretty simple, actually. Except there's a rock right in front of me. Oh. Okay, let's just go straight then. Oh, look over the barrel. Wasn't too bad. So, so this is the ghost ship everyone is always t t talking about. It's even scarier than I imagined. And I can imagine some scary stuff. What? Is Lineback shaking over there? He's such a cuckoo. Oh, put a crab in it. Caught a chill is all. One of those frigid Northwest-Easter winds. So, yeah, anyway, you just charge on ahead, Ryan. I'll catch up with you as soon as I warm up a little. Meanwhile, try to find your friend Tetra. Make it fast, kid. Ah, I get it. Lionback's nothing but a frozen, clucking cuckoo. Why don't you just wait here, shivering? Just get real comfortable. Maybe I'll lay an egg. You shut up, Sparkles. If we find treasure, don't expect any share for yourself. You can shovel that treasure right into these pockets. Right, so I forget if this is an, like an actual dungeon or just like a thing in between. But I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Well, it's pretty big.
Let's see everything happen one at a time. Perfect. What's up? Sob, sob. Oh, you! Could you be the legendary Ryan? Mm, yeah. You. You finally came. I'm the youngest daughter of the great house of Cubus. My sisters were living in peace when we were suddenly snatched away. We've been locked up on this boat ever since, waiting to be saved. But everything is fine now that you're here to rescue us, Ryan. This is your chance to be a true hero. Will you save my older sisters? They are locked up somewhere on this ship. There are four of us in the Cubus family. I just couldn't bear it if I was the only one saved. Tee hee! Please bring my older sisters to me. Thank you so much. This ship is so very dangerous. Most of the abducted have fallen victim to the Reaplings and the old. I must say, they are... Fallen. Fallen. They are the fallen. Oh, excuse me. Never mind that. I don't know what came over me. I'm so very worried about my sisters. Please hurry and rescue them. I wish you luck. I sure didn't think anything could be alive on this ship, Ryan. Thank goodness that Cubus girl was still alive. I bet they've got Tetra locked up somewhere, just like the Cubus sisters. I'm guessing those Reaplings in the hole are scary. But it doesn't matter. We've got to help that girl out. Maybe the older sisters who are locked up will know where Tetra is. Maybe they will. What makes you think they'll tell us? Take that, Skulltilla. No, I want to switch items. In fact. Damn it. Whoa. Easy, Link. You don't need to go barreling down the hole now. I said don't need to go barreling down a hole. What's your problem, man? <laughs> no, put the bot in. It's clearly a triangle. over near the stairs where I started. I didn't turn back and go right there. Ooh, a triangle. Oh no, triangle! Oh, who's there? Aha, so my younger sister asked you to save me. I see. I am the third sister of the House of Cubus. Ryan, will you please take me to where my younger sister is? <clears throat> Alright, Cubert, let's go. Cubert? Ryan! Oh, I'm so sorry. I was frozen with terror. I'm fine now. Really. Let's keep going. When I'm surprised or get left behind, I start to panic. When that happens, please come close to me and speak to me. Sorry, QB. I don't know how I'm going to get you across this one. Maybe I chuck this. Yeah, 
Okay, so we need the circle gem to open that one. Kind of sucks, but the way it is. Hurry up, QB. You're gonna get flamed. Alright, two down. Oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you very much, Ryan. I'm so very sad that my older sister was not with Tetra after all. Would you please bring back my other two sisters back here? We will be hoping for your safe and swift return, Ryan. We will be eating this candy while we wait. Smirks on our faces. Can I have candy? Actually, I do not want candy. Candy is the last thing I want right now. I've been eating candy all day long. And I made a sweet potato casserole to go with dinner. And... Ooh, it is delicious, but... Man, is it heavy and sweet. I didn't make it, like, a huge thing, so I ate about a fourth of it, and I feel like that was probably 50% too much. <laughs> My tum-tum is low to bursting right now. Where do I want to go? I guess down these stairs. Wait, what? Did you see that? That monster is even scarier looking than anything we've seen before. That's probably one of the Reeplings the Cubist girl was talking about. So, okay. It's, it's kind of like a stand-in for the Temple of the Ocean King. Except you don't have to worry about the timer, which is nice. So do these spiders just spawn forever? Is there any point to slaying them? Number of treasure chests left here is three. No, I don't want to pay rupees. <laughs> if I'm gonna waste 20 rupees on anything, it's gonna be that bow and arrow game, because I want to win and get myself a heart container. And I also confirmed that there are no pieces of heart in this game. Just full-on heart containers. It's a lot like Zelda 1. And I guess Zelda 2 as well. Ooh, all your hearts. Ten rupor. Aww, lost ten rupees. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, who are you? Ah, I see. Tee -hee. I'm the second daughter of the House of Cubus. Oh no, I've never heard of anyone named Tetra, but enough about that. Oh, won't you escort me back to my dear younger sister? <coughs> I guess so. Oh yes, Ryan. A lovely treasure rests here. There are two chests. If you pick one, definitely pick the left. Left. Yes, yes, the left. You know which is the left, don't you? Good. You're a smart boy, Ryan. I already picked both treasures. I was greedy. Not paid for it. Oh, man. I'm just loaded down with things and people to escort. Oh, relax. It's just a spider.
Uh oh, here comes another one. Oh, with the spiders already. This is why they spawn infinitely. Just to be a giant pain in the butt. Alright, three sisters down. Oh, big sister! There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you so much, Ryan. Oh, but it seems as though this sister was not with Tetra either. Will you please bring my last sister back here safely? We will be hoping for your safe and swift return, Ryan. We will be waiting with bated breath. So, where didn't I go? I guess there must have been another stairway down here. Off on the far left there. Is this reapling in the way? Yeah, tell me which switch to pull, please. Boiling number of treasure chests left here is one. No. Hurry up. The steel drums are giggling to themselves, waiting for you to free them. Man, what a combat room. So tense. Hey, what the heck? That was rude. Some things in this world were meant to be pulled. Two, four, five, one, three. There's always an order in which such things must be pulled. These spiders give out hearts. One and three. Anything happened? Unless... Wait, did I just do it wrong? I think so. Okay, hold on. Two... Four... Five. One. Hmm. Did I write it down wrong?
I'm surprised they can't hear me walking around on this creaky floorboard. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, decent. They do have to go that way. I wonder if I could just dash past this guy. Later, loser! Two, four, five, one, three. Okay, one, two, four, five, one, three. I tried that. I tried it backwards, right? Two, four, five, one, three. Yeah. What have I not considered? <clears throat> Ow! Frig off, spider. What have I done wrong? Stay dead. No, it's not backwards. Wait. <clears throat> not the pattern backwards. What does it want me to do? Some things in this world were meant to be pulled. Two, four, five, one, three. There is always an order in which such things must be pulled. What the hell, spider? Stay dead. Okay, what if I go upstairs? Reset the room. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work either, but... Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. I'm a complete moron. Oh, hold on. I'm stupid, stupid, stupid. I get it. I was just reading the hint the wrong way. Like a moron. I thought it was referring to the number of the switch, not... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Figured it out. Only took forever. I feel so stupid right now, though. What? Oh, there's a button. It's like, what is the point of this room? Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> Just kind of, ah, bob and weave. Oh, two hearts. He's tough, but he's not really worth waiting around too long for. Okay, give me the final girl. Oh, you found me. I was getting so lonely sitting here by myself. Who are you? I see. Well, I am the eldest sister of the House of Cubus. Oh, please take me to my younger sisters, Ryan. Oh, there's one thing I have to tell you. The creepy creatures with the hoods and sickles are called Reaplings. They are evil, but they are even more devilish when they're angry. So no matter what you do, don't shoot arrows into their backs. The back is a sensitive part of the body, you know. Oh well, my dear, you just convinced me that I need to shoot one in the back. I could figure out how to equip a bow. Put away. Oh, he just got stunned. Well, that's... Kind of lame. Oh crap, he's coming back. We gotta hide, we gotta hide. Oh, if I press L, it toggles my weapon. Oh, I should have been using this a long time ago. Come on, Chicky. We gotta move. I said we gotta move. Well, I guess she's just going to get eaten by the Reaper. Sometimes these things happen. There's so many frickin' spiders in this stupid ship. Is he actually going to eat her? Nope. Totally ignored. I know there's a spider here.
All right, final QB is in the hole. Oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. Circle around, sisters. Time for some quality family time. Hiss! The Reaplings should have scared the life from this boy in the hold. Doesn't he know he's supposed to play along in this little game? Tee -hee. All it means is we're going to have to play extra rough. Ah, uh, did you come here to save Tetra, little man? Tee -hee. Oh, no, no. Instead, we'll play with you the same way we played with her. It's game time, girls. Let's show Ryan the way of the playing field. To the playing field. Very different meaning to that sentence. If you want to save Tetra, you'll have to play a match of Dead Man's Volley first. So, are you big enough, boy, to return these volleys? Oh no. Oh. Oh, they're creepy. Oh, that was a fake one. Should have seen that. Hey! Oh, I see what's happening. Crap. Get your butt over there. Oh my goodness, they're going crazy. Oh, bullcrap. That's right, you got hit, stupid blue ghost. Another pop? No? I could swear I hit the yellow one already. Haha! <laughs> ah, the fewer ghosts, the better. I don't have to wonder exactly whether... Or which one is going to return the bolt. Which is the only thing that makes this difficult, really. Aha! Oh, you've got a new technique, do you? And pop? No? Shucks. Oh no, I swiped that. Touch screen stole it from me. 
Dutch Green stole that one. You really know how to play, Ryan. Gosh, we'd love to reward you, but we don't have any trophies for you. Instead, you can tee drag that precious Tetra of yours with you. Tee Goodbye! You got the spooky key. That was amazing, Ryan. You beat those wicked volley girls at their own game. Come on, let's go use this key and re rescue Tetra. I'm gonna take this heart first, thank you. Oh. Like, no, not there. I very briefly forgot where this key goes. But then I had a remembery. It's right over here. The spooky scully skull door. Tetra! Coming for ya. Un o. Is that Tetra? What are we gonna do? She's a statue. Oh. Hey, sorry kid, I'm late. Oops. Sorry I'm late kid. That fog just disappeared, so I charged in to find you. So, about that treasure. You got piles of it, right? How, how can you even say that? Ryan's friend is in trouble. And all you can think about is treasure? Oh, so this is your friend? She's looking a bit pale. Ooh, something isn't right with this girl. Her soul didn't get sucked away, did it? Her evil ship drained away her life force. Grandpa, what are you doing here? If you have come this far, Ryan, the power of the hero is with you. Now is the time for me to tell the rest of my story. You're a clever boy. This may You may already know this. You see, these seas are my domain. I am not Oceus. I am the Ocean King. Who called it? I was savagely attacked by an unfathomable evil. His name is Bellum. His evil ran so deep that it leached the very life force from me. As you know, every creature in this world possesses a sacred power. This power is called life force. The sand of ours is a physical manifestation of that power. And that is what brought them here. I struggled against my attacker in a great clash. But his evil was so dark that it slowly drained away my own life force. He was always a step ahead of my attacks, and I was eventually overcome. I was dragged to the sunless depths of the temple. Sealed up, my life force continues to drain away. Using the life force he leached from me. His evil spread and bred more and more foul monsters. The spirits of power and wisdom were also imprisoned. But Ciela managed to split her soul and escape. That split is why so much of her memory was lost. Even among the monsters born of the Sand of Hours, some are especially evil. The phantoms who roam my temple take after the evil of their master. Supernatural strength wrapped in plate armor, virtually invincible. They prowl the temple, searching for victims. No one can harm them. Of course, they were created to be untouchable. 
I had only one option. My ocean of strength had drained to just puddles. Using my last ounce of strength, I cloned myself, just as Ciela did. Then I made a humble home on Marquet Island. I used the sand of hours to make the hourglass and enter the temple. I studied my foe, searching for ways to defeat Bellum, and waited for my chance. Ciela, I'm sorry I could not tell you sooner. I worried about the spirits of power and wisdom. I never expected to find you on the beach. You lost your memory, and monsters were nearby. I thought it best to keep quiet until the time came. <laughs> the sea's islands are rich with life force. The evil things must have appeared to devour that. They just want to fill their empty bellies. A hunger for life force. The ghost ship was made to drain that life force. They used a story of treasure to lure people in. It wasn't enough for Bellum to steal my life force. He had to take what little he could from the people. I'm kind of over this story. Can we get to the next gameplay, please? Tetra must have had a bold, vibrant soul. The ghost ship was drawn to that power. He didn't find it. It found her. Wait, so you're saying there's no treasure? Yes, that's what I'm saying. From what I can sense, Tetra is still alive. Defeat that monster before my life force is depleted. I must get the sand of hours back. With it, I can return Tetra's life force and restore her. There is an island north of the Isle of Gus. Go there and find Zoz. He is a blacksmith. He will tell you more about the great evil. He knows how to slay Bellum. This is some kind of sick joke, old man. The treasure! What about the treasure? That was the only reason I put my life on the line. And now there's no treasure? Well, I quit. You quit? Didn't you even listen to his story? You're a man of the sea. Don't you want to help the Ocean King? No! And you can't use my ship anymore. <laughs> no, no, I would never ask you to do this for free. If you help us defeat Bellum, I will grant you one wish. What do you say to that? Hey, quit standing around, kid. The Ocean King is in trouble. Ship out, kid. Anchors away. I said move it. One word about a wish, and he leaped into action. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have involved you and Tetra in all of this. With your power, you could defeat Bellum. My real body is sealed away, deep in the temple. Bellum should be there, too. Normally, I would be fighting this battle myself. But you are our only hope. We're counting on you, Ryan. What are you doing, Ryan? Grab that friend of yours and get back to my ship. Alright, Ryan. We've got to get out of here. This is no time to sit around with your mouth hanging open. The old man said that Zaws the blacksmith holds the clue we're looking for. We have to find that blacksmith and defeat Bellum. And then... And then the treasure will be in my hands. <laughs> What's with you? Hey, do we really need to take this guy with us, Ryan? Ahem. Anyway, let's get going. Zaz lives on the island to the north of the Isle of Ghost, right? It should be a short trip from here. Yup, let's stop to wasting time. Let's go ship out. Um... Zaz? Yeah. Ooh, post box. 
you got for me? Link, please check it. Special delivery. Watch out. Incoming. This is a letter from Jolene. Ahem. Should be juicy. To my babysitter. Sister. Joanne. Many years have passed since we've seen each other. Are you well? I'm sure that you endured heartache at the hands of some awful man. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. You can tell. I'm feisty as ever. You're the only sister I have in this world. We should really should catch up. Ugh. But, I have to ask, are you, um, you know, do you still have that weird mermaid costume obsession? I think it's fine to dress up as a mermaid and have a little fun now and then. But don't wind up in some old fisherman's net, okay? Your sis, the she-pirate Jolene. You delivered that to the wrong person. So it says. Er, seems like that wasn't for you after all, Ryan. Ugh. Well, chalk it up to fate. Uh, do me a favor, deliver that to Joanne, would ya? Good way for people to meet and greet ya. Okay, I'm off. Hey, let's go talk to Zaz. What's up, my dude? Ryan, I knew you'd be visiting soon. It's us. So you know Grandpa? How do you know him? You see, for generations our ancestors lived to serve the Ocean King. They def defended the Ocean King in an age when great evil lurked in the sea. My people forged our own weapons and fought in bat epic battles. You seek one of those great weapons, an artifact called the Phantom Sword. So we need that sword to defeat Bellum, like Grandpa told us? That's right. Bellum has the power to drink the life force from you. Only the Phantom Sword can slay him. Now you must find the Phantom Sword and defeat him, Ryan. Okay, let's get Bellum, Ryan. So, Zaz, will you let us borrow that Phantom Sword? I no longer have it. What? You don't? No, I do not. You've got to be kidding. Why tell us how we should defeat Bellum when it's pretty much impossible? Don't jump to conclusions. I am Zaz the blacksmith. I may not have one now, but I can make one. Oh, you can? Okay, then. Well, what are you waiting for? Make one! I can't. You can't? What do you mean you can't make one for us? Are you joking? The Phantom Sword is no ordinary sword. When forged, normal metal can never handle the kind of sacred power. Aquanine... Azernine, and Crimsonine. These three pure metals must be forged together to create the Phantom Sword. Come on, Ryan, let's go find those three pure metals. So where can we find these three metals? Long ago, the Ocean King gifted the, th the pure metals to the three tribes in this world. The three tribes must have passed those treasures down over generations. Visit those tribes, and they should be able to tell you the location of the metals. Three tribes, but where are we supposed to go? We've traveled a lot, but we've never met someone who'd have a pure metal. You must go in search of sea charts. You will need more sea charts in addition to the ones you already have. Enter the Temple of the Ocean King and get the next sea chart. But we already got the, to the bottom of the Temple of the Ocean King. There weren't any other paths we could have taken. There was a door that you could open by drawing a symbol, was there not? If you draw this symbol in that door, another way should open to you. Wow, who knew that door had such an amazing secret? Take a note on the symbol, and let's go to the temple, Ryan. Good luck out there, Ryan. Okay. So, what I know need is map back. But I want to draw it on a different map, not this map. Should about do it. All 
All right, Zones, thank you for your help. Yeah, yeah. Where's the golden frog around here? I don't think I found him. Timur K, yet again. Ooh, I can change my ship now. Got all sorts of new pieces. Oh, really? That's how you fix the salvage arm? I thought maybe it just healed every time you docked. Ah, that's too bad. Okay. Do I have any other prows? I think just the one. Uh, I like that anchor. Don't have any other hulls. I do have another cannon, though. Yeah, that one's cool. There we go, and now my ship is a terrible eyesore. <laughs> Special delivery! Watch out! Incoming! This is a letter from... Lineback? Ahem. Here it goes. From Lineback, to Ryan. Okay, this is weird. Why am I writing to you when we're together all the time? But just give me a moment to remember why I was writing you. Oh, so I'm writing because, well, I'm grateful, alright? Happy now? Okay. There, thanks, okay? There, I've said it. Well, this is awkward. What next? How about, thanks for working like a dog for me, you treasure... dog? See? That's something you just can't say to a guy's face, you know? One more thing. A gift to show my thanks. Keep it to yourself. Or else. Oh, I already have that. Ooh, but I can sell it. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Nice fiber. Uh, chimney. Eight hundred rupees. Heck yeah. Wow, okay. So getting doubles of ship parts is pretty handy. Oh, what do you want? <clears throat> Sorry for being so loud. I thought you were going to walk right on by, so I got a little too excited. Anyway. Have you heard about the Chief of the Frogs? Yes. Oh, so you know that. Are you sure? Positive? Yeah. I, in fact, used his magical power to get here on a whirlwind. So. Good. Ah, uh, stupid bird. No, I didn't want to hit that guy.
I really don't know how I'm supposed to fight these guys. They are... Well, maybe not that hard. I guess I'm getting the hang of it. China beam parallel with a line between the temple and Merkay Tavern. Like that. Nice. Ooh, elegant chimney. Is that what they were telling me? Maybe it has to go this way. Oh, cliffside of the hidden weeks. Okay, I get it. Perfect. Look at that. I found a secret. What's it gonna be? More merman flights? I bet. Ooh, shortcut. Link, don't. Ugh. Can you just stop your momentum when you hit a tree, please? For fuck's sake. This is the stupidest thing. Wisdom gem. I don't have very many, do I? Hey there! What a gift to meet you! My name is Freddy. Oh, Fiedel. Fiedel? I'm but a humble singer who travels the world over with guitar in hand. In honor of our meeting, how about a song? Just a little ditty about a whimsy. It's called Magic Box. It's a box full of magic. Put in parts or treasure. After a time, look inside and see a surprise. Truly peculiar from one hand to another. Magical box indeed. Glorious exchange. Magical box. Find out what's inside. Ta-da. Yes, indeed. Tis the truth about these magical boxes. Put in the ship parts and treasures you don't want. You'll exchange them with other players that you connect to. Oh. Well, doesn't matter. Because I cannot connect to other players. Because I am not playing on a 3DS. Actually, there's one more thing I want to check out. And then we call it quits for today, I think. Oh, just has a storeroom. And there's a tree in front of it. And there's something good to... Oh, nice. I was hoping for a heart container. Because I don't know where to find any. There's this stupid bow and arrow game. There's Golden Beetle. And that's it. Just 
got to be some more out there somewhere. I just haven't got a hot clue where. On that note... Oh, a tremor. I didn't expect that something would happen when I got here. Another earthquake! I can sense it. It's coming from the temple, deep beneath it. So Bella must be causing the earthquakes that keep rattling the island. Alright, let's get that sea chart and find the pure metals. And I'll tell you what, Ciela. I'm going to hurry up to here. I'm going to press save. And that's going to be it for this episode. And then next time you get to watch me delve into this temple yet again. Hope you like repeated content. That's what's coming your way. Um, yeah, well, uh, until then, I guess, um, a great night. Bye.